resources files offer a very simple way to store information without a database. As well as general information storage, resources files can be used to automatically localize a page by providing text in different languages. In this lesson, you will create resources files to store text in English and French. To begin, open the Forest Walks project from your sample files folder. Then right click Forest Walks in the Solution Explorer and click Add Add ASP.NET folder App underscore global resources The App underscore global resources folder is a special folder that is used to store resources files. You might also have noticed the App underscore local resources option. Resources files stored in the App underscore local resources folder are only available to pages that are in the same folder as the app underscore local resources folder. This means that you would need to create a separate local resources folder for each subfolder of your web application that required resources files. Placing resources files in these special folders allows their contents to be easily accessed. You don't have to keep your resources files in either of these special folders. But if you don't, you will have to use the system.resources class to retrieve any information from them. I can't think of any real-world scenario where you'd actually want to do this. Next, you're going to add a new resources file to your app underscore global resources folder. Right-click App Underscore Global Resources in the Solution Explorer and click Add New Item. Now click General in the left-hand pane, click Resources File in the central pane, and in the name box, type webresources.resx and click Add. Your new resources file is created and opened, ready for you to add information to it. webresources.resx is automatically recognized by ASP.NET as your default resources file. Now set the name of the first record in your resources file to Dreamfalls. To do this, simply click in the box below Name and type Dreamfalls. The name works as a key that you will use to retrieve the value later. Set the value now to the most Beautiful Waterfalls. This is the actual value of your resource. You will use this text for the English version of dreamfalls.aspx. Finally, set the comment of the record to Dreamfalls Description. The comment field is used to explain the purpose of each record in your resources file. Comments aren't required, but they can be useful if a record's purpose is not obvious. Note that resources files can store more than just text. If you click the top left drop-down menu when editing a resources file, you will see a list of the different types of resources that can be stored in the file. As you can see, a resources file is also capable of storing images, icons, audio, and other files. Next, you're going to add another resources file for the French language. 
Do this in exactly the same way as you created the web resources file. But name the file webresources.fr.resx. Because you added .fr to the name, ASP.NET will automatically use this resource file for the French language. Add a record to your webresources.fr file now for the French language. Set the name field to Dream Falls. Set the value to Les Plus Belles Cascades. And set the comment to Dream Falls Description. Using your two resources files, you can automatically populate a web page with the correct language. You will do this in the next lesson. That's lesson 713. Resources files are also useful for storing other information if your needs are very basic. However, a database is a better choice for anything but the most basic purposes. Resources files are not the best option for storing settings for your applications. You will discover a better solution for storing settings in Lesson 8.1. Close Visual Studio now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 7.12. Add resources files to a project.